What's up vendors, Cosmic Vending here. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this ZZap MS10 coin counting scale that I recently purchased off of Amazon. I picked this up for $139.99 and it currently says that it is out of stock, but I will leave a link in the description below in case it comes back in stock in the future. We're going to go ahead and unbox this. I'll give you my quick initial review on this and let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, obviously you can count your coins on this, but you can also count bags of coins as well as uh, rolls of coins as well. So that's pretty cool. There's an add function, which is basically an accumulative amount that you can continue to add your total all together. And it also takes batteries as well as it has a power source. A couple different languages here as well as different currencies that you can count in. So a lot of versatility here. All right, now let's get this thing unboxed. Here's the user manual, which we're not gonna look at right now. We're just doing a quick review on this. And uh, here is the top piece where you're gonna actually set the items to be weighed on. And that will just snap right into place on top of the scale. Very simple. Uh, they also include a nice little tray that you can pour your coins inside of. It's not very big. It does hold more than you would think it does. I think I got up to like $50 in quarters, so it's actually not too bad, but what I ended up doing was uh, using an empty M&M's jar. Here's a look at the power cord, and this is actually pretty cool because it comes with different attachments based on where you might live. And as you may know, uh, different countries around the world have different outlets, different plugins. So uh, one plugin that we use here in the States may not work somewhere else. So they have actually different attachments, and there's just a little button right on top, and you can slide the one that's in there out and then just snap the one that you need in place. So I thought that was pretty cool. It'll save a lot of people uh, a lot of time and money. When they get this, they don't have to go hunting for another cord. They have everything that you need right in the box ready to go. So really cool. I actually wish more companies would do stuff like this because uh, you don't really see this a whole lot. So here's a quick look at the scale. Got the display on the front as well as all the different buttons. And you can see the top there, that's where the black plastic piece that we took out first is going to snap into place. Power buttons on the bottom here, and then on the back is where you plug the machine in. So not a whole lot to it, very simple. There's also a place on the bottom for you to put the batteries in, in case you need to take this out on location where you might not have access to a power supply. I think these are double A's if I remember correctly, but it looks like it's going to take nine of them, so quite a bit. But let's go ahead and plug this thing in and get it turned on, see what it looks like. You can see all the buttons there on the bottom. Obviously we're going to turn the power button on. The zero button is going to zero out the weight, so whatever container that you decide to put on top to place your uh, quarters in or your coins, you can see here it's going to add weight to it once you put it on there obviously, so uh, you're going to want to zero that out so it doesn't account for that. And here's a big bag of quarters that I need to take to the bank. We're not going to weigh all those obviously, but we will show you how the machine works. We have the tray on there, so it's counting that as $4.25. So let's go ahead and zero that out. And then we've got $1 worth of quarters here. Let's throw that on top and see how it comes in. Now if you can kind of see at the bottom there, it says US.25. Obviously that means we're weighing in quarters. If you hit that CUR button, the currency to the right there. That will switch from pennies, dimes, nickels. Um, but once you get that weight in, obviously we're at a dollar. We're going to hit add and it takes you to that screen there. And what that's going to allow you to do is continue to weighing more batches of coins. And then at the end of each batch, you just hit add. And it's basically an accumulative amount that will keep track of everything until the very end. So you can see we added some more. We hit add. We got $1.75, which is going to add to the $1 that we had previously. So that's going to bring us to $2.75. And once you take the quarters off of the machine, it will zero out. And then you can put the tray back on and just continue that process. We're going to throw a quarter on top and we're going to hit add. And that should take us to $3. And it does. So you can see how you can kind of do an accumulative amount, uh, which is really handy, especially if you have a lot of quarters like I do. If at any time you want to zero out your accumulative amount, just hold the add button and it will zero that out for you. 
But overall, this seems like a pretty cool machine. I didn't dive too deep into the instructions, so I'm sure I'm missing a lot of features on here. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick initial review on this. I think this is going to come in handy when I'm on location collecting from my bulk route and any type of bulk machine. So I'm super excited to have this machine because it's going to save me a lot of time. Um, but if you guys want to try this out, again, I'll leave the link in the description below. It does say it's currently sold out at the time I'm making this video. But I think I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.